Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to our multiplayer mega bus game of Satisfactory. Uh, we're just going to do something very quick and then we're going to take a big jump cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock tier 4 production. And one thing I do want to show you is just how amazing this, this recipe is. So we're using this alternate reinforced plate recipe. And what it does, if you look, is it generates three plates per tick. And we're able to get a ton of screws in. I don't even know how it's getting that many screws in. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Because in theory, this is faster, but cheaper. But how is it keeping up? I have no idea. Point is, look, I have to take, I have to take reinforced plate out. We're generating so much. But anyway, enough about that. It's brilliant, that reinforced plate recipe. What we're going to do is we're going to unlock tier four so that we can put down the fast belts. And so we can also put down the belt lifters. And that's going to significantly free up space. And in particular, there's a couple of things we need to do. One, greatly increase iron production. And two, we need to increase... Uh, iron rod production and uh, screw production they might even end up in their own lanes at this rate i don't know and then we also need to increase all the rotor and plate production back here so i've got a huge amount of refactoring to do and i'm going to do most of that off air because it's going to take a while M meanwhile uh silence do you have the cable should we do that hit that upgrade button oh, yeah. So we'll do that, and then we'll jump to a relatively refactored factory, ready to spit out all of the advanced Dura stuff. It's going to be awesome. Smash that big button. And smashed. And smash. Hey, brilliant. Nice. We encourage you to consider more verticality. Verticality. I'm totes to about... Short -range transportation. I'm totally about verticality. <laughs> okay. Thank you, game. Let's jump. Well, we have done it. We have laid in more smelters. We have laid in raised belts for miles. And the bus is, I think, just looking absolutely fantastic. I'm so pleased with it. Just, yeah, look at all of this. Just stuff going down and down and down. Down here is where we have all the smelters. As we Sorry, the constructors we currently have. They are working on plate. And we're putting out a lot of plates so that we can make a lot of reinforced uh, stuff. And as you can see, we have this quite complex arrangement to merge these little plate producers together. And then they all go back on... I'm just going to try and get back on the bus. They all go back onto the bus themselves. Into multiple stacked uh, sort of belts here. And then down here, because we picked up the special recipe for bolts, we have... Uh, this, these row of constructors here spitting out, sorry, screws, they're spitting out a lot of screws. We don't have them all utilized yet just because we just can't, we can't use enough of them. And so let me have a look, how many do we have utilized? Uh, we've got three. So what we've done here is we've paired up screws, a, a row of screws basically with a row of plate, and then put them into their own little two stack. And then each two stack feeds into an assembler. And then these assemblers here are spitting out a lot of reinforced plate. As you can see, they're doing it at pretty much 100% efficiency, um, which is fantastic. And the end result is we just have, like, just so much, so much reinforced plate coming out the back here. It's really fast, and we have just boxes of the stuff. <laughs> what we don't have yet, and we've also upgraded belt, so I've upgraded all the all the screw belt to level two. So when it does eventually move, you'll see it move really quick. So we're really, really pretty pleased with this. I think it looks looks great. It was really functional. The thing we have to do now is we've got two things to do. So Jace, are you there? You've already... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. You weren't here in the start of the episode, but you're coming to tase me now. No. Get out of it. You mongrel. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pick up this box. The yeah, go push the button. We're going to go get coal power. The silence is away right now, so... We're going to go get coal power sorted and go and do a little mining. Is that the closest oh, one? Oh, that's yes, that is the closest one. It's two pure nodes, three pure nodes, two pure nodes. Oh, my gosh. Wow, that's going to be quite a mission. It's a good mission, but it's quite a mission. And I don't propose that we um, 
belt it back here. We're just going to bring the power in. And we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to set it up over there. And then bring the power oh, back. Like. Okay, we've made it all the way over to the far cliffs and the waterfalls that we saw from way over at the base. And we've had to fight off a few... Oh, there's a fiery boy down here. Um, oh, here he comes. You going to come play with me? I'll play with you, pal. Whoosh. I'm, I'm dodging. I'm weaving. Sting like a butterfly. Run like a bee. Whatever it is. Um, boom. Boom. I'm getting him. Jace is just busy building. <laughs> like, who cares? Your buddy's getting murdered by flaming death. <laughs> you got him, man. I, I got him. It's true. I didn't need you anyway. Did it all by myself. All right, I've made it to the top. Jason's already here because he's such an overachiever. And <laughs> you've put down some stuff already. I better bring the power poles up. So this has been quite a construction project, but at least we have a really nice and tidy ramp up now, which is good. So it'll be easy to come and go if we need to. And you've got a slug on the way, which is cool. All right, power line. And yeah, I'll put the power line on top of here. And this is one coal node. You need, you're going to need to back that right off. Trust me. Really? Mm-hmm. Further? Just rip yeah. them both up. You'll see. Right. So power stations are in. The first four will be fueled thusly. The splitter for the next one. <laughs> Can I get the... No, that's too steep. Oh. So I do want it to be uh, fairly snug. I, I can do it like that. Can I get it so that it will... No, it wants it to be fairly high. And then I want it to go really steep down. Yes, awesome. That one. That one. So it's going to be that. And now we need another splitter merger. Why is that one? Ha oh, there's none there. That's why this is not happy. All right. I quite like this arrangement with everything down the middle. Yeah, it's cool. It's kind of cool. It's nice when you get a good whoops didn't click it'd be nice when you nice when you get a good clean vibe 640 megawatt go craft your go craft your worms and i'm gonna start from the very front which i feel is probably the most stable supply i don't know why it just is already backed up so i'm gonna start from there and put uh, slugs in okay i only had the one oh it's a yellow two, so. so it'll make yeah. two yeah yeah just go chuck them in at the back there so I brought 12 out, which is enough for four of these bad boys. I'm going to jump one of the sequences at least and put them in here. I don't know so why. This one, needs, this one needs one more in it. Yeah. I mean, pull out your, beak, your scanner if you want. You can always go hunt them out. But by the time we've done this, we'll be at some pretty crazy amount. There we go. 880 megawatts. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be at a gigawatt soon. <laughs> well, yeah, if we had any more slugs, we would hit a hit a gigawatt, which is pretty cool. Um, that looks awesome. Yeah. That looks cool. Nice. <laughs> I reckon that's pretty good. I reckon we can go back to the base and carry on with automation now, secure in the knowledge that we've built like a massive power station. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yep. We can tear down our biomass ones now. Ah, uh, yes, and have room for endless melters. It's going to be glorious. Just going to check out our little walkway. Yeah. <laughs> what a climb. Okay, so it's been a little bit since we last showed things off, and we have completed some unlocks. Uh, what have we got? We've got the Xenovasha uh, Joink. It's pretty, pretty cool. And we have the Rebar Gun, which is great for shooting people, and I can't I can't see anyone. They're hiding from me. I'll just fire off a bit of rebar. Reload. Yeah, pretty cool. So the factory right now is producing quite a lot of modular frames and uh, rotors. And we've used those to, to basically get to this point to unlock 
this technology. As you can see, we've got a lot of rods being made here and an absolute uh, ton of screws being uh, being thrown out of these constructors and chucked down the factory. So there's what, about six of them here. Just uh, absolute wall-to-wall -wall screws going everywhere, every which direction. We are unfortunately a little backed up. I don't know if it's unfortunate or not. We're all backed up on iron, which is good because pretty soon we need to bring down coal, which is what Jason's off doing right now. He's all the way oh, over there. Oh, I just pinged myself. He's all the way over there, miles into the distance, uh, up on the hill. Maybe sometime. You may be sometime trying to lay down belt to bring down coal because we need to make steel pipe. Steel pipe and copper wire will make stators. Stators and rotors make motors, and that will give us our next tier of, of unlocks. But I'm pretty blimmin' chuffed with just how much metal we're chucking out here. It's pretty awesome. And also, we've been a little bit off, off air for the past few days just while people have, have had life. So I've gone off and done a bit of exploring. And now in total, we have 25 power shards to play with and two hard drives, which is, which is just awesome. So first of all, we do actually have a MAM upgrade to talk about here. And I need your opinion, Silence. So the, the blueprint, uh, our alternate blueprints for rotors which mm -hmm. is steel pipes and wire. Oh, that doesn't sound that great. Nine parts per minute. The, other, the alternate recipe for steel ingots, which is three, in, three iron and six coal for 45 parts per minute. No, that's actually using iron ingots instead of... No, do you, yeah, instead of iron... Say it again? It's alternate steel recipe. Three iron yes. ingots, six coal. Okay, compared to compared to six and six is it maybe three and three why would but it's 45 parts per minute so i guess it's fast yeah i uh, i don't know i think i would prefer the steel ingot thing yeah i think we'll go for the steel ingots and now i've got yet more stuff i'm going to grab another hard drive to shove in that box which will be <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew, I thought it was going to be Jason this time. I don't know why you have to put it like that, though. You could have said it like a million ways. I could have, but uh, the inner Jason spoke to me. I just thought this was a family channel. It is a, it is a very family channel at all times, 100%. Uh, and once I've uh, managed this fantastic and amazing unlock, we probably need to help uh, Jason bring down from, what is it, like 1,200 meters away? I'm um, doing well. You're doing well. Bring down. Yep. I'm, I'm, I can actually see my staircase in the distance, but I can't. I can't see the conveyor belt yet. And then, oh my it's goodness! Nearly at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, we have a lot of upgrading to do. It's kind of hurting my head just how much upgrading is is going to be required. But so I said, we just need a whole lot of ore. We need a lot of iron ore, especially if we want to use that recipe. Um, oh that sure. Okay. Turn steel. So we yeah. need a lot of iron ingots. We actually have, I think, a surplus because we're kind of backed up. If you look at the, um, if you look at the factory, there's a lot of iron. Especially the first two or three smelters are not. They're like backed up with iron ingots. So that says to me that somewhere we're not producing enough. I mean, we're producing a lot. It's all being used down there. There's no, there's no backlog or sorry delay on inputs, but we've definitely backed up here. So yeah, we've got a lot to do. Jace is currently, what are you doing? Merging and splitting all of our coal from our enormous coal station to give us enough steel to get all this wonderful, well, enough coal to get all the steel production going. So if I head back down the belt, we can see this beautiful Mark II belt going halfway across the map, it seems anyway, it's ridiculous. There's like a thousand or 1200 meters worth of, of coal belt here. Oh. Is that Mark II belt? I think it is. It's yeah, Mark II all the way. Yeah, it is too. True, true. I just saw it in the light. It was shining in a different way. And uh, so I think now is probably a good time to end this episode. We've got a lot of work to do in the next episodes. We've got to get our steel production up and running. And we've got to start making steel pipes and then stators and then motors. Which is quite a bit of, of hassle. And uh, we're going to have to significantly lengthen the belt to take it all in. 
It's going to be amazing. And I hope I'll catch you all soon. So good night from me, and hopefully the other two are kicking around. Say good night, fellas. Hooroo. See ya.